So it looks like that the water has gone into the clay. Uh, you can see the water condensing on this side of the container, mostly in the gravel area. The clay is wet a little bit. It looks pretty dry still down on the very last layer. Go around the back side. Do the same. Mm, so here you can see pretty good that there's water condensing on up here. So there must be water in that layer. Uh, the clay is wetter than it was before. But we don't have any water condensing here on this bottom piece. So the water must not have passed all the way through that clay. So the water kind of got stuck in the clay. Now if I go to the top, you can see the water droplets all condensed on the top of our saran wrap. And we're gonna open that up so that we can take a peek at our petri dish. I did tape this down pretty good because it was windy yesterday. So let's take a look. Ah, inside of our petri dish we got some water collected so basically last night what we did was we simulated like a rainstorm for our little aquarium here so the I'll cover it back up so what happened well we'll just probably leave it off so what happened was that the water that was in here actually evaporated during the day when it was out here and then at night when it got cold it condensed and got all over you can see it's all over the saran wrap that was at the top and then as it was too heavy to stay the droplets fell back down and that's why we have water droplets all inside of our petri dish this morning <laughs> 